Hello. Welcome to Ecommerce Expert, the absolute commerce, money and invest. Welcome to another episode of Cybersecurity which is about top 7 phishing tools and how they work. Phishing is a common method of cybercrime. A quick primer on phishing, it's the act of sending an email that looks like it's from another person or company with the intention of getting someone to click a malicious link or give out sensitive information. The end goal of a phisher is to gain access to your computer system, steal credentials or data, or spread malware. It's usually not enough to just have someone click on the link, the hacker needs them to actually follow through on something, like inputting their password. Phishing is one of the most successful cyber attacks out there. These scams work because they prey on our desire to win something for free, or to avoid some disaster, like an account being hacked that would cost us money, time, or social capital. But SHHHH. Don't tell anyone, phishing is actually pretty easy to do. It's just about crafting the right message, pretending to be the right person, and sending it out at exactly the right time. And there are lots of tools out there designed to make phishing easier than ever before. There are many tools available online for fishers, each with its own unique approach to tricking email recipients. Here's a look at the top 7 phishing tools, and how they work, that hackers use to get inside your system. Kingfisher, a tool for setting up phishing campaigns. It allows admins to create phishing sites, send emails, and track results. Kingfisher is an open source tool used by hackers to send and track emails in order to get people to click on malicious links. It automates the whole process of sending emails and collecting information, making it easier and more efficient for hackers than other methods. This tool is able to bypass spam filters by using different techniques such as, sending emails from an IP address that has not been flagged as spam before, including images or other HTML elements in the email body using a personal greeting to make it look like it was sent by someone the recipient knows, for example, Dear John, running the email through multiple different servers so that it doesn't appear suspicious when it arrives at its destination. It makes it easy to set up realistic email templates, create client lists and domains, and send out mass emails that appear to come from legitimate sources, like a company's own domain. When recipients click on the links in these emails, they are sent to a landing page or web page with a fake login page. If users enter their credentials, they are collected by the hacker and can be used to gain access to network systems. Kingfisher is another tool that uses social engineering techniques in order to steal victims' personal information. Wi-Fi Fisher, a tool for launching Wi-Fi based phishing attacks that can compromise any connected device uses real Wi-Fi networks and authenticates devices from them so that people may view them as legit. It works by pretending to be a legitimate wireless access point WAP, in order to trick people into giving up their credentials or other sensitive information that might be stored on their online network. Wi-Fi Fisher allows hackers to hijack victims' Wi-Fi connections in order to steal personal data, hijack their online traffic, and more. The tool works by allowing hackers to continuously broadcast fake Wi-Fi access points while simultaneously authorizing devices from their current network. Then, when users try to reconnect their device, they connect to the fake network instead of the real one, even though it looks exactly the same, which puts them at risk for having their information. Socialfish, a tool for generating fake social media login pages and harvesting credentials. Socialfish is an open source tool that allows hackers to create a landing page that will fool people into giving up their login credentials. This is a phishing tool that comes with an easy to use interface, the ability to send your phishing link via Facebook, Gmail, or SMS, and the ability to clone any website. There are also templates for phishing pages already included in this tool. The website cloning function can be used for various purposes and allows you to clone websites such as Gmail, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and many more. Zfisher, a tool for launching man-in-the-middle attacks that can steal credentials or install malware using the web interface. This is another tool that allows you to clone websites. The biggest difference between Zfisher and Socialfish is that Zfisher has fewer options than Socialfish. There are fewer sites preloaded into Zfisher. 
It also doesn't allow you to send your links via social media or email. You'll need to know how to generate your own links within this tool, for example, generating a shortened link on Bitly or TinyUrl, in order for it to be useful. Lucy, a tool for creating malicious documents designed to exploit vulnerabilities in software applications, for example, Microsoft Office. Once opened by the recipient, these documents can install malware on the victim's machine without their knowledge. Lucy is a tool that works really well with Microsoft Office 365 as it has built-in support for it. It will help you set up an email server that you can use to send out your emails without having to worry about them getting flagged as spam mail. Lucy is a phishing tool kit written in Python, an open source tool developed by Florian Roth. It allows you to create phishing kits, which can be used to target employees and or customers. It provides a web interface for managing your attacks and targets, along with the option to run campaigns on multiple ports. It is surprisingly easy to use, and it even has pre-written templates that you can modify to send out phishing emails. Lucy comes as a set of Python scripts, which are run from a Linux command line. It requires little technical knowledge to operate, so it's good for fishers who don't have much experience with IT. The tool uses templates for commonly used websites such as PayPal, Gmail, and Facebook, allowing you to easily impersonate such sites with minimal effort. It also has the ability to integrate files, such as images, into the phishing pages, making them look even more realistic. This can be useful if you want your phishing pages to look identical to the real ones. Credi Sniper, developed by Luca Dentella. Credit Sniper is a tool designed specifically for harvesting credit card data from e-commerce websites. It can be run inside of Kali Linux or Windows operating systems without any additional software required. Unlike most other phishing tools that are written in PHP or Python languages, Credit Sniper uses Java as its core. A tool that uses social engineering techniques to trick victims into giving up their credit card details. Credi Sniper is a tool used for credential harvesting and phishing attacks. It helps automate the process of creating fake websites and sending out emails to unsuspecting marks so you don't have to spend time doing each step manually. You can even customize your messages with images or text to make them look more convincing. It allows you to fish Google accounts by setting up fake Google sign-in pages. It also gives you the option to add an email address to the target list which will make it look like the email was sent from that address instead of yours. Black Eye Black Eye is another popular tool used by hackers for phishing attacks. It has many features that allow its users to customize their campaigns. It allows you to create your own fake sign-in pages and then send them out via email, or other methods, so people will accidentally log in on the fake page instead of their real ones. The pages are designed with an eye towards making them appear as convincing as possible, so they're more likely to work on unsuspecting victims. Works by copying web pages from real websites and installing them on your own server. This way, when a user goes to your fake version of the website, it looks exactly like the real thing. The only difference is that instead of going to the real website, you capture their login information and send it to yourself. Phishing is an increasingly common method of attack, and it's no wonder, it's a tool that can be used to gain access to sensitive information or even credentials, and all it takes is a little bit of social engineering to convince the target that they need to submit this information. In this age of near-constant information sharing and instant communication, it is imperative that you are careful about what information you share and with whom. Hackers have gotten more sophisticated in their phishing methods and anyone can fall victim to these cyber crooks if they aren't careful. The good news is that there are plenty of ways to be aware of common phishing tactics and also plenty of tools available to make it easier to know when to avoid sharing certain information. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video.